Are you a Foundry VTT power user and want to improve your Foundry setup? Well, I've got 10 Foundry VTT modules for you today that are sure to excite your players. Hi there, my name is Fondu and I run this channel called Dice and Easy where I give you Foundry VTT tutorials, TTRPG tips and tricks, and daily TTRPG memes as YouTube shorts. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button down below. Now, before we jump into these modules, some disclaimers. Firstly, I can only guarantee that these work in Foundry version 10, which is the latest stable version, which is the one that I am currently using. And I am using the D&D 5e system, so I cannot guarantee that these work for any other game systems. With those disclaimers out of the way, let's get started with a number one. At number one, we've got MIDI Quality of Life or MIDI QOL. As the name implies, MIDI Quality of Life provides quality of life updates to automate a bunch of stuff that makes life easier easier for you as the GM. You can automate attack rolls, damage rolls, saving throws, automatically check if an attack has hit, automatically apply damage, which takes into account immunities, automatically apply active effects to targets, which I'll talk about more in a sec, automatically apply and remove concentration, and much, much more. Now, I mentioned active effects there. MIDI QOL actually works with a bunch of other modules that add active effects, special effects to spells and conditions and whatnot. So if you have MIDI QOL, there is a bunch of other stuff that you can make work together with it to make cool visual stuff, but that is an entirely different video on itself. If you'd like a video on MIDI QOL and all the different modules that combine with it, let me know in the comments below. Then at number two, we have symbols, creature aid, cover calculator, and wild magic surge. Now, these are actually three different modules, but I'm putting them under one because they used to be a module called D&D 5e helpers, but unfortunately that is no longer in development. So symbol took that and broke it down into different modules. Let me run you through them. Creature aid is a GM's module. It will automate for you certain creature actions so that you don't forget to recharge them or check them, such as legendary actions, lair actions, rechargeable abilities, automatic generation, and undead fortitude. It's just a nice automation to not forget to use stuff as a GM because we have a lot of stuff on our mind. Then we have cover calculator, which does exactly what it sounds like. It automatically calculates cover for you in D&D 5th edition and then applies that to the attack rolls and damage rolls and whatnot. Then we have wild surges, which is an automated way to check for wild magic surges for wild magic sorcerers. So it will automatically roll for a wild magic surge for the sorcerer if a first level or higher spell is used and it will let you know as the GM what the result was. And also it will roll on the table of wild magic surges if a surge happens and replenish tides of chaos as well. Very nice automation. So overall, this package used to be D&D 5e helpers, but now they're separate modules, but they're number two because I said so. <laughs> number three is Innocenti's Travel Pace. Now this is a very handy module that lets you calculate how long it takes for your group going at a certain pace to travel a certain distance in D&D 5th edition. At least for me, I can never remember how the calculation for travel pace goes, you know, how much can you travel in a certain distance, etc, etc. Well, this module gives you a little pop-up window that you can open up from the sidebar, and then you can just put in what is your lowest group's movement speed, how many miles are you traveling on regular terrain, and then difficult terrain, and then it will tell you how long that will take. It's super handy if you're doing any hex crawl kind of stuff, traveling long distances, it's very, very useful as a GM. At number four, we have Torch. Very simple module, it adds a HUD button to your token that you can press to activate a torch, light spell, etc. It's just a nice handy way to be able to toggle lights on and off on your character. At number five, we have Less Fog. This module, as the name implies, allows you to have less fog, so to speak. You can change the fog opacity so that the fog is not as opaque as normal, and you can also reveal tokens to you as the GM and to all other players that are in the fog to make it easier to see things in the fog. It's just a nice quality of life thing. At number six, we have Dice Tray. This adds a bunch of dice buttons below your chat box so that you can easily throw dice rolls. All of the usual dice are there. You just click them and then click roll. And there you go. You just roll the dice easily like that. Very handy for everyone. At number seven, we have Initiative Double Click. Incredibly simple module. It lets you double click initiatives so that you can manually put in the initiative number. That's very handy if, for example, you get the same initiative roll, but one creature has to go before the other. 
then you can just manually change it to a smaller number if you would like to, or for whatever reason, if you want to change initiatives later on. At number eight, we have Dragon Flagons Chat Enhancements or DF Chat Enhancements. So this is a bigger improvement module on the existing chat functionality within Foundry VTT. It adds an adventure log where you as the GM can easily add small notes for yourself if something important happens in the game or important name or a place or whatever. You can add a log note for yourself that you can look back to later. On top of that, you can also create a chat archive where you archive all of the chat at a certain date and time. So if you need to back up your chat for any reason, you can do that with this. Then the module also adds a more efficient chat history because by default, when Foundry loads messages, it leaves them there in your computer's memory. So if there are more and more chat messages happening, it slows down Foundry slowly but surely, no pun intended. But this module makes sure that those older messages get removed so that your memory doesn't get over flooded with messages. Also, the module adds these little roll selector buttons at the top of your chat box, which lets you decide how you want to roll a dice roll. Do you want it to be public or a hidden roll for yourself, etc. And there's also a bunch of other smaller chat features. You can check those out. I'll leave a link to all of the modules in the description box below. Then at number nine, we have DF Settings Clarity. This simple module adds small icons in your settings for modules for all the settings that you can change. It shows whether they are on a world basis, which means that changing the setting changes it for everyone or on a user basis, which means that changing it changes it only for that specific user. It's a very handy way to know that which settings are affecting whom. And this module also adds a fuzzy search functionality to the settings search function, which just means that when you're searching for something, it tries to approximately find what you're typing so that you don't have to type in the exact thing. Then lastly, at number 10, we have safety tools. This is a simple but very handy module that adds a little bell icon to the left hand sidebar from where you can choose the different cards that you can show from the TTRPG safety toolkit. So an X card, an O card, and an N card. What these essentially let any player do is to say, I want this scene to stop right now because there's something that is upsetting me or it's going in a direction that I'm not liking or to continue, everything is fine. It's just a handy, quick way to communicate to the GM if this is ever needed. There you have it, 10 cool modules for Foundry VTT for power users like you and me. Did you find any of those useful? Leave a comment down below on which ones you would like to use. And if there are any modules that you think I should highlight on this channel, also leave that comment down there. I would love to find new modules to highlight on this channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button while you're down there commenting because this channel is a passion project of mine and I'm trying to grow it and every like and subscribe helps me out. Also, I stream every Monday and Wednesday at twitch.tv slash diceandeasy at 6 p.m. Eastern European Standard Time. All right, now on the screen, you're gonna see another video of mine, which you should definitely check out if you love Foundry VTT and modules. And as always, have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.